Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. And we are back with another weekly Wiz video. In this video, I talk about all the fragrances that I wore all seven days last week. So if that's content that you think you wanna see more of, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, turn on bell notifications so you're updated whenever I upload new content. Without further ado, let's jump right into the list starting with Sunday. So on Sunday, I grabbed dinner with some friends. I have a friend visiting from Florida who moved down there not too long ago. So we went to a nice steak dinner in the city and I wanted to wear something that fit the occasion. Scent I'm talking about that I decided to wear is Dior Ohm Intense. So this one, guys, many people, if you don't already know, hail this as a masterpiece 10 out of 10 fragrance every time. Fantastic atomizer on here. And I don't disagree. The main note in here is iris. It's this powdery, floral, masculine iris. It's incredible, okay? Some people, this, I also pick up a lot of patchouli in here, adding this chocolate vibe and a little bit of vanilla. So it comes across as almost this warm, ambery type scent. This is class to me. This is romantic. It's a little bit sexy. Not everyone is gonna like this scent. Again, it's floral. It leans more masculine floral, but some people say this smells like women's makeup to them or lipstick, a bag of makeup. So keep that in mind. If this is one that has popped up on your radar because of the hype, because a lot of people that you follow talk about it, just know that this is not going to be for everyone. To me, it's just something, a special occasion type scent. I wouldn't say this is signature scent worthy or anything like that. I think it also is better for cooler weather. This is a bit dense. It's a bit sweet. So it's not going to work in hot weather, it's not gonna work in warmer weather. And to be honest, it's not something that I would wear typically during the day. So it's an evening out scent, dressed up, nice collared shirt, blazer, nice shoes, pants, whatever. So it's class in a bottle, it's fantastic. Great longevity, lasts all day on me. If it's something that is on your radar, definitely try to sample it first. I'll link a sample down below. I enjoy this one quite a bit and glad to have it in the collection, Dior Home Intense. So since that same friend was still home on Monday visiting, we decided to go down to the Boston Marathon. It's only about 15 minutes or so from my house. So she had on the runners, grabbed some drinks at some of the bars around there. So it's usually a fun day here in New England. Uh, uh, socks play early around 11 o'clock. Scent I decided to go with. I love this one. You guys know I love this one. Mancera Sidrat Boise. I have the screw top bottle. Uh, I know some people have, I wanna say it's a magnetic cap on some of the newer bottles. And man, you know, this stuff is pretty straightforward. It's, it's citrusy, it's vanilla, it's a little bit smoky, there's leather. Uh, my mom made a comment to me. Uh, she thinks it smells like smoke, like an ashtray. Uh, I can see that uh, a lot of people get that some people get a cigarette vibe from this. I don't personally, I think it is smoky for sure. And, but I, I just, it adds this really nice dimension to it. It's clean overall. It's fruity. The vanilla note in here is just, it balances everything out nicely. It's a little bit woody. Uh, this is a compliment getter for me. I think this is really appealing to a lot of people. If you're looking to get into a niche type fragrance, entry level, nothing. And when I say entry level, I'm not just talking about price, I'm talking about the challenge to wear it. This is not challenging, just an overall great scent. I get really good longevity. I know some people have mixed reviews on performance. So performance for me is great. This was smelling on my clothes two days later. So, uh, you know, this is one that might have to benefit from maceration a bit. One of you guys recently asked me if I have tried the intense version of this and I have not. So let me know in the comment section down below if you tried the intense, do you prefer it over the original Eau de Parfum? But personally, right now, I don't feel the need to upgrade from this. Um, so this is gonna stay in my collection and I'm gonna continue to wear it, especially this summer. Mancera Sidrat Boise. Big shout out to one of my subscribers, Danny, who sent me this next one. And I talked about a fragrance that he sent me uh, last week, 
which was the sport version of this one. So the scent I am talking about is Saruti 1881 Men. Now this one is an old school uh, vibe for sure. I enjoy this vibe quite a bit. Decent atomizer. This is a cheapie, guys. Uh, really nice in the air. You get the juniper, you get the lavender. This is an aromatic fougere. It's gonna be familiar. Uh, oak moss, uh, barbershop, timeless scent. Really versatile, uh, old school smelling. This was a 1990 release, but it harkens back to even before that, uh, scents from the 80s, maybe even late 70s with the use of the oak moss in here. So I really like this. It's clean smelling. It smells like you just left the barbershop. What I really like about this one, everything's really well balanced. I wish longevity was better. It doesn't last that long, but you're getting a really high quality fragrance. And this is one that you can overspray a bit, in my opinion. Great out of the shower. Uh, it's gonna grab attention. You're gonna smell clean and timeless. You know, you, you're not thinking about it too much. You're just a classy dude. You wear a suit maybe every day. Uh, this can be a great office scent. It just evokes success to me. And for such an inexpensive fragrance, I wanna say this is somewhere in the $30 range, uh, possibly less, maybe a little bit more with shipping. But yeah, I just love the bottle. I really like the bottle. It has this really nice sort of, uh, textured glass and it's on the back too and then the sides are smooth it's a really nice scent i'm definitely going to get out this is going to get a lot of wear for me uh particularly out of the shower and even office settings appointments meetings that type of stuff great scent thank you danny for sending this saruti 1881 on wednesday i had to go with one of the more hyped cheapies in the fragrance community and I'd be shocked if you haven't heard of this one. This one has been super hyped for a while now, and for good reason. It's fantastic. It's a great cheapie. Scent I'm talking about is Mont Blanc Individual. And you can see I made a nice little dent in there. I love this sort of flask style bottle. I don't have anything else like it. Okay, Atomizer. You know, oh man, sweet cinnamony uh raspberry lavender clean smelling uh similar to clean laundry i get that vibe but i also get a lot of cinnamon in here as well and it reminds me of you ohm so if you're a fan of you ohm this is a more tamed less floral a little easier to wear in different situations you ohm is more of a hey look at me smell me i loved you ohm i used to wear it in junior high I'm, i might have been the only kid in junior high wearing you ohm but this stuff is just really nice it can work in the day and it can work in the evening and i actually prefer to wear this at night than i would in an office setting or to work because i think it grabs attention it has this really nice sweetness in here that is comparable to other things that are hailed as sort of night out fragrances i think this is a perfect night out scent that i think it gets overlooked for that use. Good longevity from this. I know this has been reformulated a few times and people aren't crazy about what the current formulation longevity is. I get really good longevity. So it's a full day for me. It's really all I need. It does sit a bit closer to the skin after an hour or so. I wish it projected a little bit more because it has all the elements in scent profile to really want to be one that projects and grabs your attention. But nonetheless, it smells great. And I love wearing this one. Mont Blanc Individual. So on Thursday, I had to reach for another freshy, cheapy scent that is easy to grab. And to be honest, not one that has been very cheap as of late. If you see this one in the rack stores, it's gone way up in price, like triple the price of what it used to be. Scent I'm talking about is Masoni Wave. I'm just such a fan of Masoni. I love Masoni Pour Homme Parfum. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It's my top blue fragrance besides Sedley. So I, amazing scent. And this is no exception. Presentation, beautiful presentation. I love the gradient on the bottle. I love the cap, the detail on the cap, the Masoni on the top. And of course, the magnetic cap. And this is a damn good magnetic cap as well. Uh, really tight. So 
yeah, great presentation overall. Masoni Wave. This gets compared to Chanel's Allure Ohm Sport, gets compared to Versace Pour Ohm, and I get really a combination of the two. Great atomizer as well. Um, it has this really nice, sweet orange citrus up top, mandarin orange, I believe. Uh, it's really sort of has this synthetic undertone, but in a good way. It's a little fuzzy. Um, it just smells fantastic. It's a little bit aquatic. It is the perfect quintessential summer fragrance, in my opinion, that is really so versatile. You could wear this anywhere. You could wear this to work. You could wear this out. You could wear this to church. You could wear this um, to your child being born, whatever it is. It's not going to offend anyone. You're going to smell great. It's one of those scents that is just a compliment getter. Really nice sillage with this scent. So it's going to be familiar to people, but they're just going to say, you just smell great. I don't, it, it, it's almost like you're not wearing anything. Like maybe you just took a shower and you just smell really clean, freshly laundered uh, clothes and everything is just fresh and crisp. This has a really crisp vibe to it. So it's, it's effortless. It's easy to grab, easy to wear. Longevity for me is not great on this. Uh, the Masoni Parfum Pour Homme lasts longer on my skin. Uh, but with that being said, I would expect that. This is, again, really fresh, really uplifting and bright. So this is not going to get you 10 hours. Um, it It's not dense. It sits really light on the skin. However, it does have projection. So keep that in mind. It does project for a couple hours really nicely. Glad I have this one in the collection. I know this was super hyped last summer. I'm expecting the same this summer. I'm expecting a lot of people to continue to talk about this scent because it is a cheaper alternative still, even though the price went up. It is a cheaper alternative to things like Chanel Alorum Sport and even Versace Pour Homme. I want to say it's cheaper than Versace Pour Homme, but it's right there neck and neck actually in terms of price. It's not, if it's cheaper, it's not much cheaper. So you may want to consider Versace Pour Homme as well. I own that scent. I love that scent. That one is a little bit more floral, a little more uplifting, a little more bright. But this is a nice combination of the Chanel and the Versace. And I like this one. Masoni Wave. So on Friday, I had to go with one of my wife's favorite fragrances in my collection. And she smelled it immediately on me. And it just does something to her, guys. What am I going to say? The scent I am talking about is John Vavedo's Vintage. Now, I lucked out and got this at a Burlington for a really great price, but it, it's still really affordable on uh, discounters. I'll be sure to link it. One of the worst atomizers. Uh, it just doesn't spray very far or very much. So keep that in mind, actually, when you are spraying this and when you're wearing it, you might have to double up on the sprays. If you do normally do five sprays of this, you might want to do 10. And that I think that also contributes to the longevity issues that none of these John Vavedos bottles have great atomizers. They just don't distribute a lot of juice. So if you're trying to smell good and you want people to smell you, don't be afraid to spray this one a little bit heavy. But quince, rhubarb, really fruity opening, rich, almost niche like for me. One way my wife describes this is that it's the quintessential definition of a cologne. Like it smells like a guy's cologne. And when I say cologne, I don't mean the concentration of the oil. I'm talking the general term we use. We say fragrance, we talk about fragrance. But for a lot of people, they just call it cologne. This is her idea of cologne. So, and I get what she says. It, it reminds me of kind of walking into a Macy's and what you would smell. But that's not a bad thing. It's just really addictive, familiar, masculine, timeless scent, really. It has an old school feel to it, but with this modern twist. And I'm not really sure what's contributing to that, but it just works. It might be some of that fruitiness up top, that rhubarb. I think that is typical in some of these fragrances that have come out with a sort of modern take on their old school style scent, like a barbershop fougere. Uh, like a woody sheeper or something. They will throw in an earthy sweetness to sort of modernize it a bit. This smells great. I would always have this in the collection. I love John Barbados fragrances. I wish they lasted longer. Rodrigo Flores Rue is a master perfumer and he did a fantastic job with this line. 
Vintage is no exception. John Vavedo's Vintage. Finally, on Saturday, I went with a scent that I just grabbed from TJ Maxx in my most recent rack stall haul. So if you guys have not watched that video yet, please be sure to check it out. Now, what I'm about to say might be controversial. It might get people in the comments. I hope it does, <laughs> but I like this. I know you guys are a bit burnt out on Aventus clones. I am too. Scent we're talking about is Loewe Essentia. Eau de Parfum. Now, I may like this more than my Aventus. That's hard for me to say because I love my Aventus. I do. I am, def I defend Aventus because I still feel like it has a lot to offer this fragrance game. I think it hit its pinnacle of popularity, which when something gets super popular, people will try to bring it down. It's just what it is, okay? People get sick of it. Now, this, on the other hand, is the most interesting take on the Aventus DNA that I've smelled of any clone, I guess you wanna call it, or dupe. I don't consider this a clone of Aventus. I don't consider this a clone of anything, to be honest. I think it remind will remind you of Aventus, but there's just something about it the qual from a quality standpoint uh, the sort of focus on the green and the earthiness in here was just a really fantastic idea. This is a replacement to Aventus. I will probably reach for this more than my Aventus, and that's not a bad thing. I think giving Aventus a break for a while is a good thing. Letting, the, letting that maybe newer bottle that you have, I have a 2021 batch, letting that sort of macerate a bit and going back to it later. Longevity on this all day fantastic longevity and the quality remains through and through from beginning to end this smells great you guys need to check out my video i talk about it my first impressions of this is the best way to sort of articulate how good the scent is i'm enjoying this one i'm looking forward to wearing it quite a bit this summer let's check out the atomizer real quick i haven't done that great atomizer great in the air so fruity and citrusy at the same time uh beautiful scent i love this stuff and i'm definitely going to be trying more loewe fragrances i have one solo platinum which i love a lot of you guys mentioned loewe 7 cobalt saying i need to try that that's next on my list guys if you can get your hands on this one this is a replacement to aventus loewe essentia eau de parfum that's all I have today. Let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was. I love knowing what you guys are wearing. It always gives me good ideas, and I appreciate you sharing that list with me. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.